Wanderlust Productions. Hi, uh, I'm Matt Billen, the Creative uh, Media's Director here at Wanderlust Productions. Um, I've been on full-time staff here for about five, five months. And um, I am kind of a jack of all trades. I would call myself gifted, but people laugh when I say that. I'm not quite sure why. Um, what, that, what I really mean by that, though, is I'm kind of a jack of all trades um, and uh, master of none, as they say. So I get to do all kinds of things like camera work in the field in many different exotic places. Um, it's not quite National Geographic in the Amazon, but we're like the next best Christian equivalent. And uh, I also do motion graphics, I do some audio cleanup, I do sound engineering as well as music production, so I actually get to create a lot of the music we do, sound effects, um, things like that. Uh, photography, um, and I'm just constantly trying to learn new things to, to try to keep up. So two years ago, um, Darren's my brother-in-law actually, and you might, think, you might think to yourself, oh, I see. So Matt was hired because Darren is his brother-in-law and he married Darren's sister. That would be what you'd think, yes. But as I said, I have kind of an aptitude for some of these things, so I was a good hire anyway, I'd like to think. Anyway. Um, two years ago for Furious, I'd done a little bit of work um, on the deluxe edition for Finger of God, and I was really getting into video about five or six years ago, and, uh, and I did some independent films and things like that. Um, but Darren asked me if I would do the music for Furious Love, and uh, he gave me basically a, a CD, a compilation of things that he really liked, and I guess my tip, if you're doing something like this, um, I had no background, none, in doing this. In fact, I'm a guitar player and I sing and do worship at the church. I, I have no background on keyboards, scoring music, scoring music to video, I have no experience. So the way I did it initially was I just, Darren kind of, you know, I was with him on a lot of the trips, so I was filming so I could kind of get a, a visualiz visualization, but he kind of told me I like this style, and, and Moby, Coldplay, you know, those are some of the, the bands that we like, and, and some others instrumental things, and I just I tried to kind of, not so much copy what they were doing, because that is pirating and that is illegal. But what I uh, did do is I tried to kind of mimic the style and uh, the way things were put together and what you hear is the end result in the Furious Love soundtrack. And, you know, um, I did that all at home on this little baby right here. It's almost dead. It's Sometimes this flickers and goes out, but it's almost dead. But I pretty much did the entire soundtrack on this, and I still continue to use this for almost everything. Um, I do add a little guitar uh, playing in there, and then obviously I do a lot of the drums and things like that within Logic. And if you're curious, we use Logic Pro, which is like the best darn $499 value you could ever get for music software. Um, it comes with about everything imaginable, and, um, and it's uh, put out, you know, for Max, so it's going to be awesome anyway. But uh, this baby right here, we've been through some battles together. But a lot of the, the audio was screened through really crappy Alltech Lansing computer speakers and uh, just not the workflow you want to use. But anyway, that's how I cut my teeth, as they say. So here I am two years later as a full-time member of the staff um, with a little bit nicer setup, um, better monitoring for, and monitoring is very important, by the way. Spend the money on the monitors, that's very important. Uh, or at least a good pair of headphones. And I do everything right in this room. It's uh, covered in 30% soundproof acoustical tile. And uh, as my heater kicks on, it makes noise. Man, that was amazing, like how that was right on key. It ordinarily is a soundproof room, but my heater just kicks on and it vibrates. So that kind of ruins it. But anyway. So uh, anyway, so audio, uh, my job here then is to just do, um, you know, audio engineering, uh, sound engineering, cleaning up the audio. So I do a lot of my, my work in here doing that. Uh, one of the things I'm working on right now, just to give you a sample, oh, um, here I am two years later, um, and I've become a little bit of a better musician as far as the scoring of uh, movies and music and have a better understanding of how to like mimic different styles and things like that. And I've gotten more into kind of full orchestration, you know, using cellos, trumpets, um, brass sections, um, piccolo flutes, um, you know, big, you know, timpanis and percussion and kind of putting all that together. 
and learning how to do that. And I really don't have much of a background in that. I'm just I'm just listening to people I like, like Hans Zimmer, who did the Dark Knight soundtrack. I love that stuff. Um, so in this cartoon, we wanted it to be more more epic, more cinematic. So we're doing a lot of orchestrated score uh, scoring, and I don't have the animation yet. I'll be getting that probably within the month, and I will animate. I will actually put the music. I'll create the music while watching the video. That's the better way to score um, for picture or for film. Um, but I did know that the intro title sequence is going to be about 60 seconds long, and I kind of knew how it was going to be animated because I designed the storyboards for it. So I came up with a little. Uh, musical piece that's a little more full orchestration. It's got some horns, some cellos, some strings, uh, a lot of drums and rhythm, but still has a bit of a modern edge to it. And, uh, and I'm planning on using this for that opening title sequence. So I'll play you uh, a clip of that. So it gives you a sample of of, um, of what I'm doing, and honestly, I just, I just play around a lot. I mean, I think that's the best way to come up with with uh, with things that are going to work. And you know, for all the stuff I've created, I've probably written about 14 songs for this cartoon. I'll probably end up throwing like 12 of them away, and just using tiny pieces of those songs. Um, but I, what I did for Darren when he asked me for Furious, I just created like I think I wrote 40 like one minute songs. And then I just gave him a bunch of stuff, and he just used it wherever he wanted to, to do it. And some of them were, were honestly horrible, and then some were really cool that he didn't use. So it's kind of like it was. Then it, it worked well for him to just be able to pick and choose. But now that we're in this situation where we have a little bit more of a full-time staff, um, I can create um, with the actual video uh, locked edit in hand, and I can actually create to that. And um, so if you check out um, some stuff on our website, like the uh, promotional contest we just did, and there were some sample titles I put up on Facebook recently uh, with our technical director's face, and we were doing some mock credits, but that's all sound engineering. It's layers and layers and layers of sound effects. Um, that kind of stuff's really, really fun to do. Um, but again, I don't, I don't have a huge background in that either. You know, I'm just kind of learning, and I've, I've had to learn how to do surround sound as well. So these are just some things that we're playing with, but. Again, um, let me just do a promotional for Logic Pro. It's 499 bucks. It comes with everything you can imagine, um, and we use that for almost everything here. Um, for the cleaning of audio, we use Soundtrack Pro, which easily round trips with um, Final Cut Pro, which is what we do all of our editing on. So that's a little different, but anyway, so that's just a little sample of what I do here. Um, we're going to be dropping some video blogs once in a while just to keep people up to date on you know what what it is we do here, but. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I have a pretty cool job. I get to create all day. Yeah, there's some kind of menial tasks of cleaning up audio, and especially when a major project is get, project's getting finished. But for the most part, I get to just be extremely creative, think outside the box, and, um, and just come up with whatever, whatever I can. So, and uh, some of which we use and some of which we don't. So thanks for listening, because if you made it through this entire babbling of information, you really are a fan. <laughs>